Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video I will be showing you how to define and load a custom layout in Como Rebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. You've probably seen this uh, screenshot which is on the Como Rebi README. What you may not know is that this layout is actually a custom layout that I defined myself. And in this video, we are going to recreate this layout. Um, and yeah, we're going to show you how to do that step by step. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is head over to this section of the README, creating and loading custom layouts. Uh, you can read all of this if you want to get an in-depth understanding, but I assume you're in this video because you would just like to get a custom layout as quickly as possible. So to do that, we're going to click on this link, the Custom Layout Generator. Um, and here you have a little visual interface. So let me just put this in monocle mode. Uh, and you can play around, you can add things, you can um, move things to different rows, all of that sort of stuff. But what we're really interested in is recreating this layout. So let's take a look at this. We have one primary column, one secondary column that has a limit of two rows or two windows, and then we have a tertiary column. What you can't see here is that this tertiary column will expand to fill as many, um, to fit as many containers as is needed, depending on how many new windows are opened in this workspace. So when we go back here, we don't need two secondary columns, we just need one, so we'll get rid of this. And our secondary column has a limit of two rows. Once we have this, this is, this is the layout. This is the layout. So on the right hand side, you can see the JSON configuration for this layout. And this is what you want to take and put into a file locally. So I've already gone ahead and put this into a file named custom.json can see that I have the secondary column with two horizontal uh, splits. We have the primary column and then we have the tertiary column that will keep splitting horizontally. Um, one thing that I have added here is this configuration on the primary. And this is saying that the width percentage of this primary column should be 45% of the space available on the screen. So that is going to make our primary column a little bit wider. It's going to give us a little bit more space in which to work with the primary application on our screen. So why don't we go ahead and run this command, load custom layout, to load our custom layout. Mm, you know what, why don't we open a couple of windows first, right? So you can already see in the traditional BSP layout, it's starting to get more constrained here, but we are going to fix that uh, with our fancy custom layout. So we're going to do comma rbc load custom layout custom.json, which is where we have it saved. There we go. I think this is a much nicer use of space especially with this many windows. So if I come back here, you can see that this is essentially the same layout, but you can actually see what is happening when tertiary windows are added or windows are added to the tertiary column. It just keeps expanding forever. At a certain point, you will reach a number of windows that is impractical here, but that is where, in my opinion, you should start thinking about splitting your windows out into separate workspaces. So if you were confused about custom layouts before, I hope that this has demystified things for you. Once you become more comfortable with this format, you can 
edit your own directly in JSON, but this should help you get started to get the kind of layout that you would like. Um, I am forgetting something. Let me refer back to the readme. Aha! The thing I'm forgetting is that if you would like the default layout of a workspace to be a custom layout, you can open up your Komarebi configuration file and in the sample configuration you have the default layout for the named workspace 1 or the Roman numeral 1 to be BSP. We're going to comment this out and actually want a slightly different command. We want the named workspace custom layout command. It takes exactly the same arguments, the name of the workspace, um, but instead of the name of a layout, it takes the um, the file location or the path of a custom layout definition. So to demonstrate this, I am going to save these changes where I've commented out this line and added this line. I'm going to stop Komorebi altogether, and you can see that it is stopped because there is no tiling taking place. And we can start up Komorebi again, and what we expect to see once everything is loaded is that instead of that BSP layout, our windows will be arranged in this lovely custom layout that we have defined of a primary column, a secondary column with two rows, and a tertiary column for any excess windows. That is it for the tutorial. Before I leave you, I would like to draw your attention to the sponsor page for this project. If you are an individual and if you have the means, donating even, well it's not donating, it is sponsoring, well I guess it is donating, whatever it is, even a dollar a month, it makes a huge difference to me. Um, it gives me a lot of motivation every time I see you know, somebody has done even a one-time sponsorship for a dollar. It makes a huge impact on me. If you are working at a Windows-based company, a Windows shop, and you and many of your fellow engineers are using this software, it may be worth reaching out to your engineering manager, your VP of engineering, even your CTO, and saying, hey, you know, we're using this software. It is a real productivity booster for us. It is doing wonders for our velocity in delivering features, fixing bugs, whatever it is. And it would be a worthwhile project for the company to sponsor. Well, that is it for this video. This is the end of the video. If you like this video and you would like to see more tutorials, you can let me know in the comments, you can let me know in the Discord, you can actually come and hang out with us in the Discord by following this link here. If you'd like to see more of these videos and be automatically notified when they become available, you can subscribe to the channel on YouTube and they will come up in your subscriptions page. And yeah, that's it. This is the end of the video. I hope you all have a very nice day.